I believe that uh, we do not have enough ethical leaders in this world. Just take a look around at the moment and, and you'll see how many leaders of major corporations, of other institutions, are not acting ethically. Of course, there are lots that are, but there are not enough. Boeing's the most latest example, Volkswagen, the Catholic Church, the, some of the NGOs, are led by people who don't believe that acting honestly, ethically, is the most important thing that they do. I think that politicians and others have failed to be honest and ethical because they have goals that they think are more important than being honest and ethical. Whether that's making more money for their shareholders or for themselves, or whether that is getting more voters to vote for them, these are more important than being honest to all of their stakeholders. By ethical leadership, I mean behaving in the interests of every one of your stakeholders. We have made ethical leadership a central part of this program. Now, by, uh, why have we done this? It is my view that ethical leadership is in fact more successful, more profitable for companies and for other organizations than unethical leadership. It's, it's a very simple choice, being honest. Is you're going to be more successful if you're honest than not honest. With this program, I want to achieve a group of bright, go-ahead people who, in the next generation, will rise to the leadership of whatever organization that they want to work with, whether that's politics, business, church, doesn't matter, and act at all times in an ethical way. It's very important that they uh, have the leadership in action component because teaching leadership theoretically is not enough. Uh, it's a good start, it's a very useful start, but it is doing it in practice that is really, really important. I want to take uh, all of our scholars to a leadership in action program because this gives them the opportunity to work along with other people and to help them indeed use what they've learned theoretically in a practical situation. And that's what they're going to be faced with in the rest of their lives. A very important part of the undergraduate program is the creation of the Laidlaw Scholars Network. This is a network which can be accessed both by pre-scholars, by scholars, and by the alumni. The idea is that the Laidlaw alumni will be able to keep in touch with each other, will be able to help each other with challenges, will be able to report on their successes, or indeed on their failures, because that's just as important as well, and that throughout their lives, throughout their working lives, and maybe even afterwards, they will have relationships around the world with other uh, scholars uh, who uh, will be able to help them with challenges, with advice, and keep in touch.